so happy to be here and thank you very much that you invited me and special thanks to Mr. President and uh, I would like to say about the Russian scientist, his name is Yuri Putin, not Putin, but Putin, okay? <laughs> it's very important. And uh, as I understand that I have a uh, short time because previous speaker, kind of, okay, will be short. And uh, uh, first of all, I'm really important to know that uh, this uh, Yuri Putin, he was born in uh, very hard times of our country. It was time with collectivization, and of course, uh, I have not so much time, and you can uh, read all my report in the page number 30, and I will say, say just very shortly, and like thesis, okay? And if you will have a question, we can have discussion somewhere else. And uh, um, the life and his study, because he studied about uh, a career, about ancient Kochoson, why he uh, decided to choose this uh, topic? Probably because he was born uh, in my land. I am from the Buryati, it's a Siberia near Baikal Lake. And we are really um, feeling warm to the Korean nation because we are, have a lot of uh, same in culture, in language, in many, many places, okay? And uh, he lived very hard life, actually. And you can see I found in archive some photos. He was born in village and it was very hard time to come from the village to the very capitals of our country and study the um, language. And also a very important thing that for a long time he graduated from the military school of translators in Soviet Union. He fought it for communism. Okay, <laughs> in, uh, He was sent to North Korea and he spent more than four years in the North Korea as a translator, and also like a military advisor during the war. And he has a lot of the um, medals and tokens from the Northern Korean government. And uh, it was hard time. And actually during this time he started to interesting about the history, ancient history of the Korea. And he was really, really interested and he started to excavate. He wrote in his memoirs that one time he saw the, like a bomb, he make a big hole, and he found a lot of uh, ceramic, ceramic uh, shells, and he started to collect it, but it was time to run out, and he ran out, but he came back to this hole and tried to collect it. Also, he, uh, also he studied a lot about history and ethnography and language. And you know, you should know, but then after that he was sent to the Middle Asia, it's a Tajik uh, Soviet Republic. And he looked a lot about the connection between the Tajik, uh, Altai group of languages and Korean languages. This man, he has chance to travel a lot all over the Soviet Union and he studied the different kind of languages. And finally, actually he was kind of opposition for the, um, how to say, official Northern Korean uh, studies. Because in the uh, 60s, uh, Northern Korea um, proclaimed the ideology Chuchhe, which means they support their own force. And they said to Soviet Union, okay, we are friends, but we will make our own research, our own um, ideology. Okay, that's why he was a little bit in opposition to the official Northern Korean uh, science. Uh, and after the many places, he took uh, travel all over the uh, former Soviet Union. Finally, he settled in Irkutsk. Irkutsk is a big city in Siberia, also in the, another place of Baikal Lake. And he started to be uh, the dean office for the uh, studying of the um, Oriental languages. Because my language is a Buryat language. It's also Oriental, Mongolian, Buryat and others. And uh, by the way, it's kind of, for Buryat, it's easy to study Korean a little bit more easy. Okay? And uh, um, language and history, I said. And this, uh, my topic about what he studied about, and a uh, very important book, it's Economical History of Asia, whereas he was also a PhD in economic, and he said it's very helped him to feel how the people um, live usual life, you know, live usual life. Mm -hmm. 
well, the next one is uh, Oriental Etudes. It's more like uh, poetry and uh, also science because it's very interesting. You know the story about uh, Tangun, the uh, legendary founder of the um, state, and he said, uh, is it exist or not? It's not so important. Very important that uh, he gave a very important role when it was Korea, when is in a hard situation, he united, he united the nation. He gave the power and strength to fight against the occupation. And uh, very important that also um, to know where is your state is was established, very important uh, for every nation. But especially it's uh, very important for the people, for the nation, who was someday as a colony or who was depend from somewhere. And he was really full heart for Korean people, for the Korea. And he said that Ko uh, uh, he was established much more earlier than it's uh, said a colonial historian, say like a Japanese. And also, also he said that very often in Chinese chronicles, the Chinese chronicles saying about the nation in Manchuria and uh, Korea, like it was dependent from the uh, Chinese from the Han Empire. But he said very often, when I'm looking at the real history, it is not. Uh, and the, the uh, proto-state, the old states in the Korean Peninsula and in Manchuria, they have the same, uh, um, how to say, civilization, the same roots, and they give a lot to the all uh, humanity. They give the same... Uh, treasure. Also, he studied a lot about the archaeological researches. Uh, and he united the, here it says uh, the like, book about the Korean language. And it's still uh, very useful and uh, of course it's quite old and it was is, mm, published by his uh, uh, disciples. He studied the uh, main goals is the characteristic of material culture he found a lot of archaeological finds, especially daggers in the northern Korea, political and economical history. And uh, he looked uh, all his Korean history from the very beginning to the three states. But also, I would say uh, very accurately, he was not so optimistic about the dates which I have heard here. He is more accurate. And as a classical uh, Academical scientist, he is very accurate with the facts. And he is never saying that um, ages and ages and centuries and centuries before because he was uh, supported on the archaeological researches. And his um, dates of the Kochoson is much more humble in his uh, studies. And also, final, he, uh, mm, uh, it's a uh, Final, he studied in, in Irkutsk, uh, Siberian uh, Institute of Economic and uh, Development. But the main book, as I said, it's this one. It's uh, uh, called Ancient Choson. Ancient Choson, and it's quite good. And now it's very rare in Russia. I try to find it, and I try to buy it. But finally, I go to the Irkutsk uh, official library, and I make a copy of this. Uh, the Korean uh, government starts in the, in the Bronze Age, but finally the government and state uh, start to be as a classical government in the Iron Age. Iron Age. Mm -hmm. uh, Choson Tangun, Choson Tangun, and he thinking that uh, Tangun is maybe it was a real person, maybe it was like a moment, like a myth. He is saying it's not so important now because this role of the Tangun is, will play much more early, uh, later, when it was a problem with uh, Korea as an independent country. And he said that probably uh, when we look uh, very carefully and the history about Tangun, it was a real person. But uh, after that, p people added some his uh, special uh, kind of ideas, like a god, but probably in the very beginning was a real person. And he studied a lot, and he gave a very popular in Russian academical science uh, Samguk Yusa, the 
ancient uh, chronicles of the Korean people, Samguk Yusa, and he used a lot in his work. But also, uh, Kochoson Viman, he said probably it was already not any more Korean, but more like a very big uh, Chinese influence in this area. And finally, what I want to say that he really thinking and said we need to study more about the dates of the Kochoson, especially old one, and maybe it will move to the more eldest. But as I said, he, he was very, very careful about it. Mm -hmm. This is my main thesis comes in. You will read it. And uh, he said 700, 100 years ago, it was appeared like ancient Choson. Mm -hmm. He said it was a monarchy, titles and hierarchy and class legislations and it was classical uh, uh, state. It's very important to understand. And he all the time in any books, he really cared that it must be the same uh, at least uh, states as the Korean, ancient Kochoson and the Han Empire was like uh, equal, not like uh, uh, the Chinese determinated. And this, I finally found this photo, and it's, he is standing in the very center, this man. And he has a very big and uh, long life and a lot of troubles during his life. But I really want to say that it was a man who really studied and he really have a passion and heart to the Korean history. And I'm really thankful that you have a chance to me give this name of the Yuri Putin. And thank you very much for your attention.